This is a piston engine, or more specifically, a Boxer Ford type engine, which is the most common piston engine configurations that I've ever used in Plane Crazy. Piston engine usually came with many different types, such as single piston, V configurations, or even a W like this. But before we actually got that far, I'm going to give you an example of a Boxer engine configurations and give you the idea on how to make one yourself. Crankshaft. First, start by placing a motor. This motor will be your main crankshaft bearings. Do not put more than one or else the speed of the engine will be limited due to an old double motor glitch. After that, place a half block or you can place more if you want to. And then two motors like this. Now repeat three more times to form a crankshaft. After the main crankshaft design is done, you need to connect all of the half blocks together since only putting motors are not going to connect all of the blocks together. A text is required to be the connector for the crankshaft since text is one of the blocks in Plane Crazy that doesn't have any collisions. You could technically use compressors as well, but it would be much heavier and it wasted lots of space to put more stuff together. Now when you rotate the crankshaft, all of the blocks should be one solid object. Connecting Rod after a crankshaft is formed together, now we're going to put a connecting rod or the piston arm. This part will be the one that connects the linear movements of the piston into a rotational movement to the crankshaft. It's also really simple to make it. In Boxer Engine, place your piston configurations like this. Left, right, left, and then right again. Your connecting rod also needs to be at least one block longer than the crankshaft diameter. This is so that the crankshaft is able to make one full rotation, or else the crankshaft won't be able to make it. At the end of the rod's output, connect a motor which is then connected to a hover engine. Then place a suspension to hold the hover in place. Remember to motor lock the suspension if it's too short like this. And lastly, place a sign equal to the amount of hover you have right in front of the hover. Add space to the other plate so that it aligns together like this if the piston is in an inwards position. Camshaft the camshaft could be placed in the same physical objects like the crankshaft, or you can make an extra shaft on top. In this example, I'm just going to fuse the crankshaft with the camshaft to reduce complexity. Camshaft itself is used to set the timing of the plates that is placed in front of the hover's engines so that the hover is only pushing while it's in a ready position like this. It consists of two motors that's connected with a text and a suspension in each motor. The suspension will convert the rotational motions of the hover into linear motions. And you might have guessed it, the linear motion is then used to control the timing. Now here's an easy way to connect the suspension output to the plate. First, pick any side from the camshaft suspension. After that, color that part orange. Now color the two plates in the front part as orange as well. And here's the easy part. Just connect the orange blocks together into one solid object. The same also applies to the other side that you didn't pick earlier. But this time color it pink and connect it to the two plates in the rear side. Flywheel. The last part you need in an engine is of course a flywheel. Do not underestimate the functionality of a flywheel because a flywheel is able to potentially increase your engine's RPM and making it more stable and also prevent it from stalling due to the inertia and weights of the flywheel. You could simply put a cylinder which could be used as a starter later. Then put a blast block at the ends of the cylinder itself. The bigger the diameter, the less weight you need to put in the blast block and the more inertia effect will take in. However, note that this could also result in difficulties on steering due to the gyroscopic effect of the engine. And that's how you make your own boxer engine in Plane Crazy. If you have any question, feel free to DM me on Discord at any time or just comment down in the comment sections down below. Consider subscribing as we keep providing you with quality and memes content on mechanical engineering in a game simulation such as this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day. We'll be back one day.